Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. So in this video I'm going to be reviewing another moulded integrated flight and stem system and obviously this time it's the new Winmore Fusion. Now these are retailing for around £6.90 which is not a bad price. So it's cheaper than the Condor Axe and similar to the K-Flex. And they come in a variety of colours, so I'll put that info up on the screen. So in this video, obviously I can't test the long-term durability, so I'll have to do an update at some point. Uh, but I'll give them a, a measurement and I'll, I'll wear them, and I'll do a quick comparison with the K-Flex and the Condor Axe. So let's check them out. As I said, they retail for £6.90 and they're available in medium, intermediate and short and in fluoro yellow, it's fluorescent yellow basically, azure blue, solid black, fluoro orange, dark grey smoke and solid white. And you can also get a, a carry case or kind of like a keyring case. And I think that's only available in black at present and that's £5.95. Right, so I've got the medium, intermediate and short and what I like about the packaging is on the side it's got the lengths, lengths of the stems for each so medium 34, intermediate 28 and short 22 it even shows you the part that's been measured and I've got the Azure or Azure, I don't know how you say that blue got the black and the fluorescent yellow but as you can see against my blue background it looks green but what does yellow and blue make green <laughs> but when I put it on my hand you can see it is is yellow but I like the way the edges kind of look as if the glowing and that was kind of similar as what it was on the uh, Condor uh, Neon Axe darts. Um, so when I come to test them, I think I'm probably going to try two of them. I'm going to try that medium size and the short. I think the reason why I'm going to try the short is because I think that's the one that closely matched the length of the Terro Plus that I was using on my Predators and they seem to work well with that so I will try them mainly but the reason why I'm trying the medium is because obviously as you can see the stem is longer so that means there'll be less flex in the short one and quite a lot of flex in the medium but I'm also going to do a quick comparison of the K-Flex and the Condor Axe. Now, the Condor Axe I've got here, it says medium 27.5mm and the intermediate on the uh, Fusion was 28mm, so that is probably the closest match to that one. and. The K-Flex, it said intermediate 26mm, so again, that's the three that is probably the closest matched in terms of the length, and I'll, I'll wear them later, and I'll just do a little uh, comparison, but for now, we'll have a, a better close look of these. Alright, so starting with the short first. As you can see, it's got like a, a tapered bottom to the stem and it kind of like a pinched in waist and then it flares out towards the flight just a little bit. And it is definitely yellow, even though it keeps looking green. <laughs> it's magic. How to quickly transform a yellow flight into a green one. Ta -da. <laughs> um, but... Like I mentioned, because this is short, it's not as flexy as the medium, but it's still quite a flexy flight, but that's probably down to the thinness there. But in terms of the design, obviously you've got your 90 degree angles on the wings, but it's still got that kind of like V channel, which runs down 
a little bit on the stem like what the condor ox have and in terms of the uh, material it does feel very similar to the condor ox um, I'll show you the blue one and the black one I'll just give you a quick look at the that's the uh, intermediate so you see you get a little bit longer stem and obviously it's more flexy but then when you go on to the medium it gets even a longer stem and it flexes quite a fair bit so looking at that one you can see it's got the flat edges like on the condor axe they're not like reinforced on the k-flex ones i don't know if it makes a big difference yet but we'll, we'll have to see and the wings are again quite flexy very similar feel to the condor axe but i think where it differs with the medium is you definitely got a lot more flex on the stem so whether that might cause more deflections or not i don't know so that's why I'm going to test that one and obviously the short one but I'll give you a quick look at the uh, intermediate ones that I mentioned so we'll do the K-Flex and the Condor Axe I'm going to put them on the barrels just so I can give them a flex and see which one feels the most flexy and I did use the new new flights for that to make sure that it wasn't a, a worn flight so that's the intermediate and it's definitely going to be more flexy on the stem because it's thinner and let's see condor axe where's the condor axe it's hard to tell when they're clear so that's the condor axe and it, it's a lot stiffer definitely doesn't flex as easy and to me I would say the wings almost feel the same and there's the shape of the flight the fusion looks like a more typical standard style and I'm not sure that might be a small standard because it did say small on the box I think yeah it did so I didn't get the normal standard on that one um, so as you can see it's got that V cut down there on the Condor Axe and it's got a similar one on the Fusion but in terms of the look of the stems I actually think the Fusion ones look a little bit nicer got a nicer profile and the K-Flex again for the sake of checking it just a, a little bit shorter i think than the fusion and i'd say it depends on the way you flex it and sometimes it kind of feels stiffer than the condor axe and in other ones it feels more flexy but still not as flexy as the fusion i don't think and there seems to be a little bit more stiffness in the wings but whether that's just down to the fact that they have the reinforced parts i don't know but who's to say that more or less flex is good or bad i think a lot really depends on on the the way you play the way the darts land in the ball and the way the incoming darts make contact one person might be better with one stem might not be so good with the other and this is why i always say you've got to try them just to find out what works best for you right so we've got the medium fusion that's 1.59 and compare that to a normal nylon deflector grip stem with a 100 micron standard shape flight 2.08 so the molded system is obviously lighter and use the intermediate or in between 1.54 for the fusion and for a normal 
uh, stem and flight 1.81 and lastly the short fusion 1.48 and the normal stem and flight 1.56 so the molded systems are, are lighter all round again whether or not being lighter or heavier is a good or bad thing it, it can just vary it will depend on how it works with your darts and obviously your throw and what you like yourself so again i'll check the in between fusion so 1.54 and the condor axe it's almost very similar just a bit lighter but let me see I think a slightly smaller flight size on the Condor Axe and the K-Flex is lighter again so that's probably down to the fact that they have quite a lot cut out on the stem side and just again to show you the shape of the flights it's very similar but overall K-Flex is lighter but like i say whether that is a good or bad thing will depend on the individual and what works for you right so what i'm going to do is i'll have a throw uh, with the mediums first and just have a little talk about them and then i'll try with the short and then after i've done that what i'll do then is i'll have 100 darts at the 20 with the medium 100 darts with the short I could have done the in-between as well, but I didn't see the point in doing them all. But the reason why I want to test the medium is obviously because they're the more flexible, just to see whether I get more or less deflections and anything happens. Um, but going forward, after I've done this, I'll, I'll fast forward the 100 darts, so obviously, so you don't have to spend ages watching that. But after I've done this, I'll probably be using the short ones mostly but I will still test the mediums as well just to see and obviously I'll do an update at some point. As that second dart hit the other one, definitely sounded similar to the sound the Condor Axe make when they clang together. It is a kind of like a hard plasticky sound, but some people don't like the sound at all and other people do like it, so it's just one of them things, isn't it? Ah, my hands are a bit dry at the moment. I think these old predators have started to lose the grip as well. <laughs> I might have to get a new pair. A new pair. And you said, triple five champion. And I think they are flying a little bit flatter. Like, could be maybe the setup is a little bit longer than what I normally use with these, because I normally use the uh, Q Soul Terror Plus. I actually split that one. Lasted quite a while before I split it though. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Has got a nice profile to the stem, like I said though. But I'll give a try with the uh, the short ones. First uh, treble one. Oops, I don't like the way the uh, the light kind of glows along the edges, it's weird. It's a strange effect, it almost looks like a, like a laser. These are flying through the air in a better arc, I think. Yeah, 
definitely feel a bit more comfortable with these short ones. So I don't know what I can do with just throwing them like that, but I'll have a hundred darts out of the 20 with each and I'll kind of fast forward it and then I'll see you at the end of the video. Five points. Last that. Done rubbish here. <laughs> My hands are dead dry. I don't know what's up with them today. I can't seem to get any proper grip. Oh well, <laughs> 69 it was. My average normally around on this is usually about 80 something, but there you go. Three points. Six points. Last start. Who's last start? Yeah. Oh, bugger. Well, what was that? Eighty six, I think it was. Or oh, whatever I said. So there you go. That's the Winmore Fusion Integrated Stem and Flight System. I knew I'd do better with that particular one, the short ones, because that setup just seems to work better for me with the Predators. Although, I know I hit 180, but even then I, I still wasn't thrown as, as good as I should have been. I don't know if it's just something wrong with my grip today. It almost feels like my fingerprints have disappeared. They're just very dry. I just can't seem to get any like proper purchase on the barrel. I know these have worn down a bit, like, but even so, it's not normally like that. And I did have a problem, I don't know what happened, I think I overstretched my arm or something and oh, I've got a pain right up there, but it, it was coming back every now and then, so that was kind of annoying me. But I think that's just down to the old injury that I had on my shoulder, it just comes and goes, the problems with that. But in terms of the flights, um, I think I had, I had more contacts with the short ones and I didn't notice any issues, I only had a few contacts with the mediums and again it didn't seem to be any problems so i'm just gonna have to play with them longer and i've definitely had more contact with the short ones but there's actually nothing that i can see just a tiny little mark on that one um other than that it's look as if they're in almost new condition i don't even seen any scratches hardly now there is some lines when you get the light on it but it's not too bad now let's check the blue ones because even though i didn't have many oh no that is quite strange 
the, the blue ones have actually got more marks on the wings and I had less contacts with them I wonder if that's because they were just hanging up a little bit more mm, see that one has got maybe three or four little tiny nicks on it but just very slight marks on the others so I'm surprised at that I thought the short ones would, would have had more marks on but going forward I'll probably be playing with the short setup mostly and I might put the medium ones on a different set of darts ones that they'll work better with for me and I'll update in a few weeks and see how I'm getting on so that's basically it I'll see you in the next one happy darting